want to infiltrate. Yo, we got hostiles. Okay. So we got a drone. Um, Alright. The drone is up. Fine, I'll do it myself. All right. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. I, I did switch to suppressors. All right. Everybody, hold up. We got hostiles in the area. on the target. Let's move. I'm on point, so... Alright. Alright. Synchronized shot. Have seen me. I got a target carrying submachine guns.
the shot. Fuck, engage him. He's gone. We got a Sicario. There, and the watchtower. Careful, Sicario sporting a submachine gun next to that crate of calm gear. Got a third target. They're on alert. Shit, they spotted us. Okay. I'm hit. Um, okay. I'm opening fire on these shipments. Okay. I got him. Okay, that was on me. Um, at least we got him. Okay. Alright, we need a new 
engagement position. Um, all right, so yeah. Um, Silencio, marche. Pinche cabrón. Okay, we're cool. Está bien, ganaron. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. <clears throat> so how many ghosts to take the car off the road? None, because the ghosts don't exist. All right. I mean, <clears throat> I'll be honest. I kind of like the idea of the uh, open world missions. Um, at the same time, though, it uh, well. Kind of saddens me that, uh, well, doesn't really seem to be that much of a, uh, that much of an emphasis on stealth. I mean, yeah, as the stealth mechanics, you know, being sighted and the like. Um, and, but I don't know. Like, with that ambush on that side, I should have been dead. Um, I should have been dead, um, and, uh, yeah, hang on, where are the rest of my squad mates? Here they come. Um, all right. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, this is, uh, this is playing very differently from classic Ghost Recon, and I'm not sure I like it. Who are you? Okay. There's a civilian. Civilian on a bicycle. No one notices the. Uh, no one notices the uh, U.S. Army Special Forces troops running across the street. I don't know. You think they should, you think you'd penalize for that? Um, okay. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I suspect this game would actually be more fun with. So this soldier is about to get discharged when he goes to see his commanding officer one last time. You've told this one before. No, I haven't. I don't think I have. Anyway, so the sergeant is like, I guess that after you get out of here, you're just gonna sit around and wait for me to die so you can piss on my grave. You've definitely told this one. So the soldier replies, No, sir. After I leave the army, I'm never going to stand in line again. Really? Nothing? <sighs> okay. Um. Besides, you don't sir him. You don't say you. You don't say yes. You don't say yes sir or no sir to a sergeant. Uh, okay. Better way to get around. Yeah, I really shouldn't be profiling myself like this. I mean, not that it really seems to matter, because, well. 
I don't know. Um, seems the game is focusing too much on artificial stealth mechanics rather than the more natural. Okay, I, okay, that did not kill me. Um, okay, and yeah, this is. I don't know. I mean. Maybe it's because I'm playing it on, you know, an easier thing, and I'm used to the idea of, man. So further ahead. Seriously, this is the, this is the best magnification I can get three times. I had better mag in my scopes in Classic Recon. Um, all right. You know what I should have done? I should have just shot that guy. After interrogating him, I should have just shot him. Because that way, there'd be no way he could have... Okay. Civilians. Alright, we're approaching the operation site. Yeah, um... that. Okay. <clears throat> so. Still half a kilometer away. Okay. And don't get me wrong, I kind of like that they're, you know, developing the characters a little bit, but, you know, with the chatter, but we're on a mission. Um, and... Well, quite frankly, we're supposed to be U.S. Army Rangers. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure that U.S. Army Rangers are human beings too. But, um, I don't know. Okay, where are we? 300 meters away. Well, all right. So yeah, I mean, if I were making this much noise in Class of Recon, I'd be dead from a sniper. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Um, and we are... Hold up. We got hostile activity. The water as slow as possible. Yo, we got hostiles. I got a narco over here. Point him out. Over by the helo. Okay. It is nice though that your uh, squad mates can you know point out targets and. Oh, C to go prone. Okay, that's nice. Um, kind of wish it was just a function of control, but you know, or a scroll wheel. I got one narco over by the crate of com gear, coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round. Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Why are we, Let's go. Why are we even calling it Operation Kingslayer? Why don't we call it something more like, you know, Operation Broken We got Broken civilians Father. dangerously close. Check your targets before you shoot. Yeah, check your targets. Oh, how I wish I had a scope. Um, okay. So you can actually go prone. It would have been nice if they had brought that up earlier. Um... Well, she doesn't notice me at all. See? Yo, cartel gunman. Inside the barn. Oh, 
Ah, shit, we missed spotter. Did it get him? Okay. Tango number three. It's too dead. Oh, I don't need skills. Don't need perks. Okay. They spotted me. Right. Engaging hostiles. Give for a sniper rifle. That's one down. Okay. I need to switch to the MP. PS forty five. What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. Get down. Um, all right, so it's a three-kilometer hike. Look at them. There might be gunplay all around him, but a farmer still got to work. Yeah. Want yeah, cut the chatter? Um. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a bit of an overland hike. Um. And the reason why is because, well... Well, um... Let's face it, a truck draws too much attention. Um... Especially if it's being driven by a guy in a balaclava with a ghillie suit. 2.4 kilometers distance. I gotta say though, the game does a pretty decent job of uh, separating uh, separating the uh, <clears throat> combat from uh, just regular goings on. Um, you could theoretically just go on patrol. Um, Anybody know how Bowman ended up in Bolivia? She came here looking for Edward Snowden. Someone should have told her Snowden took a different flight. I heard she was involved in Plan Dignidad back in the 90s. Plan Dignity? Operation to completely eradicate illegal coca in Bolivia. That's DEA shit, no? Not all of it. Getting the right guy elected, militarizing the population, changing people's minds without them having any idea you're doing it. Usual CIA mind tricks, back then anyway. A plan to completely eradicate coca? Good luck with that. Actually, they almost succeeded. If they had, we wouldn't be here. Maybe. Maybe? 
Maybe if you try to completely eliminate something, it only makes people fight harder to get it back. That is a good point. Um, after all, in uh, the United States, we've been fighting the drug war since the 1960s. And, uh, well, it hasn't gone well. Um, I mean, drug addiction is still a thing. Okay, so the blue trucks are not hostile, it seems. I wonder, how do we determine who is a non-hostile and who is not? I mean, theoretically, at least, everyone's in plain clothes. Okay, let's not run, because, after all, we're just going to draw attention when we do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand why you have vehicles, but, um... Yeah, I mean... We're supposed to be U.S. Army Rangers. Uh, at least that's the way it was... Back in uh, 2008, with the original Ghost Recon. Now it seems that we're some kind of DEA black ops unit. Or... I don't know. Still, I mean, yeah, the game is gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. Um... Okay. Okay, how's he doing with the traverse? He's doing fine for a guy who's been, you know, he's actually doing really well for a guy who's been tortured. Um, okay. And, of course, we get, you know, the usual things where uh, that rightly should have killed us. So, okay. Let's take this trail then. Um, screw that. We're going over the fence. We're going through. Because, uh, yeah, the trail might be slightly faster, especially if we get vehicles, but. I don't know. I mean, I'll admit I, I do find the. F the uh, I mean, from what I've seen so far, the freeform mission aspect. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but. Uh, Um, I mean, this is definitely not Ghost Recon OG. Um, <clears throat> if anything, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, I don't know. It's its own thing, and that's kind of cool, but... Um, Okay, 1.3 kilometers away. I mean, I'm sure I'll get used to vehicles eventually, but, uh, I don't know. I kind of like just, uh, you know, hiking. Um, I'm actually tempted to, you know, infiltrate, and try, try to infiltrate the, uh, the camp. And yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, be the first to admit that... <clears throat> I will be, you know, for at least for the next while, I will be uh, constantly comparing this game to the original Ghost Recon. Um, mostly because even though they have, you know, completely different, they have different gameplay mechanics, um, and, you know, I don't know. Classic Ghost Recon might still be better, I haven't, you know, decided yet. Um, especially since... Classic Ghost Recon can't run on modern computers, it seems. Uh, so even though Ubisoft's got it, it on Steam, well, yeah. Um, all right. Okay. <clears throat> so. 700 meters away. Um, I think we'll just take the road for the rest of this. Um, Alright. So 
So I wonder if there are like different regions of the game. I mean, like I wonder if the uh, <clears throat> if uh, you know once we've completed the missions in this sector, that cactus almost looked like a person. Um, if in uh, different sec different uh, or different areas of the game after this one. Um, okay. I don't know if these resistance guys are up for this. Take it easy, man. How many times have we work with locals? They'll step up when it counts. I guess. But most of these dudes are just coca farmers and ex-dealers. They ain't never been in real combat. They've seen war. Plus, they know the terrain and they know the enemy. They'll come through. Just gotta show them we got their backs. Hope so. Otherwise, it's four versus four thousand. That could be worse. How's that? Could be four versus four thousand and one. <laughs> True. Alright, um, and because we're the ghosts, we are coming in the back way, essentially. Alright. Yeah, sorry we lost your truck. Um... This is it. I got eyes in a weapons case. All right. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these. Demons, they are questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. Can we just get this guy to sit down? Not. We're not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned them. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. All right. <clears throat> 